for Steve Ward following a 2-1 to one Sweet 16 win over the Amherst Steel Commons. Man, Coach Ward just ebbs and flows of the game. That's what playoff softball is all about. Heck of an effort from the Comets. You guys are able to get it done. Just go with me through the ebbs and flows of this game and how your girls were able to get it done in the end. Well, Amherst, Coach Rager, they have their team rocking and rolling. What a well-coached team. They're a class act up there. Their players top to bottom. They're ready to go, so all credit to them. And you're right, playoff atmosphere, you can take nothing for granted. And, you know, today was a day where the balls didn't drop for us, and that could be very frustrating. It is frustrating for our hitters. And for them to just keep staying steady, to not get too frustrated that, you know what, you just hit a laser and it was right to the girl. Or you hit something, the wind today really carried the ball. I, I think we would have had a couple of home runs on there. But that's the name of the game. And, you know, I'm really proud of the toughness and the character our players showed. Just to come back time and time again when something didn't go right. Time and time again. So I, I am so proud. I, I think this chalks up as one of my most favorite wins. You talk about the way the game played out, too. I mean, you guys don't score until the top of the eighth inning. Kylie Folkwine finally gets one to drop for you guys in right field to score that run. What's going through your mind in that instance, too, and the girls finally coming through in the clutch in the later innings, extra innings? Oh, it, you know what? They just kept relaxing. And again, you saw our dugout. We, we didn't change mood. We didn't change demeanor. We were just staying steady, ready to rock, and we uh, finally, in the later half, we took advantage of base runners and opportunities, and that obviously is the big difference when you don't leave them on. As you get a big home run in the bottom of the eighth inning from the Comets, they retie it up. Kayliana Ray, though, comes through in the top of the ninth, a freshman batter, too, but she's a 750 hitter coming in, gets her fourth hit of the day, gets the ultimately the game-winning run for you. What can you say even more, I mean, that you already have said about Kaylee on her right. Biggest hit of her life, though. Well, you talk about that whole inning. It just it worked the way we wanted it to work with Sammy getting on. Two perfectly executed bunts by Lily and Rachel to get Sam over to third. And then, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take those odds in Vegas with K. Ray up there at the bat, and you need a big play to happen. And, boy, 3-2 count fouling off some, and she really came through in a clutch, and that's why... You know, she's the player that she is. She's the real deal. It's two of our player of the games, but we can't go without talking about that third one. Sydney Watts, a 16 strikeout performance in a sweet 16 game. Nine innings, two, only one earned run given up. It feels like, I mean, you talk about she's had better line scores, but considering the game, considering the moments, this is one of her finest outings, too. What would you see in the circle from her and just keeping you guys in the game competing through nine innings? You know, you saw her keep adjusting throughout the game. You know, sometimes she was coming in, sometimes she was going out. But, you know, seeing her effectiveness with the changeup today really just was awesome to see. She froze a lot of batters with that and got a lot of good strike calls with it. So, again, you know, when you talk about you're getting this deep, you want to keep adding layers and dimensions to yourself and to the team. And, you know, wow, again, our character and grit were tested today. Every single one of our players just work through it. I'm so darn proud of them. Final question for you. It's a third straight year. You guys have made it to the Elite Eight now. We're going to take on the winner of Riverside and Walsh Jesuit, but regardless of who wins, how do you guys prepare practice tomorrow, I'm assuming? Uh, we're going to work on our hitting. We're going to work on bunting. And uh, again, you know, we're a routine-driven team, so we're going to do our warm-up. And, you know, we're, we're going to just get, get ready. Falcons with a tough one, a close one, a nail-biter, but they get it done 2-1. to one. They book their ticket to the Elite Eight.